Hey guys, so watch this video here for Thursday already. Wow, Thursday, October 29th. Um, I only traded the morning because I went out uh, this afternoon and voted. Voted early down here in Florida. So uh, you can kind of see there's the daily chart of the SPY. Kind of an ugly day, right? Big drop, uh, gap down and closing going out at its lows. I think the Dow was down over 900 points uh, by the close. I'm going to show this was an early trade I called showing you two minute candles. I took a screenshot. There's the uh, time frame. Um, called this long over the mic, second mouse through 61.50. I had a limit of 61.50, hit the button, got filled at 46 in a blink. We were up challenging the high of day. I always try to take a, you know, an inflection point with the high of day above. The reason I took this, and I already made a short video on Twitter with my phone, but the reason I took this was first solar, FSLR had gapped up and sold off right at the open. And uh, so anyway, I already had this on bounce watch because JKS has been really, really beaten up. Anyway, next thing I know, I look in first solar's ripping to new highs after shaking out all the early shorts and just rip. So that's when I looked at JKS today, guys. I think this one could squeeze at first solar, you know, just a sympathy play. Uh, got long right there, close to the half. And I mean, we got, I don't know, those are six, in six minutes, maybe eight minutes. A uh, quick dollar fifty or so, really nice trade. Uh, you see, I took a screenshot of a few people that took it with me. And it was a nice way to start the day. Um, and without any other highlights, I'm just going to get right to it because I got something I got to do. So um, Pinterest is just on Gap Watch. There's the daily it closed at 49.25. As I'm talking, it's trading at 64 bucks in after hours. They reported earnings, so potential gap play tomorrow. Wish I'd have got a hold of that in uh, in after hours. MGEN massive volume, 265 million shares. Closing above its open, maybe a follow through day tomorrow. Remember when you watch my videos, I'm a day trader. I'm looking for stuff that might give me a trade tomorrow. I'm in cash every night, um, which protects me from uh, gaps down like we had today, right? TUP uh, gapped up and a pretty strong day, all things considered. So we'll watch for a follow through day tomorrow. JFU, um, it's just an interesting chart. The big, big volume two day pop over two bucks and it's just still curl curling up and really holding pretty well in an ugly market. So I wanna keep that one on watch. Codex um, just goes back on watch. I had the, the big pop inside day and I think another inside day and they do COVID testing. So I definitely think it's in the right spot. Um, PLTR gap down, sold off and ended up going out almost at its high. So over today's high would be uh, basically 11 bucks. And then you have yesterday's high above at 1104. Um, certainly worth watching. I love the relative strength in it today. WEI um, had this big pop yesterday, today kind of a quiet inside day. So I'm not in love with it, but again, relative strength in, on an ugly tape for the market, right? Um, CYH, again, speaking of relative strength, big volume and topped out at the whole number six. You know, we look for stuff like that. SELB had the gap up, looked like it was rolling over and then in an ugly tape, curling right back up on decent volume. So we're gonna watch that one. Hog is Harley Davidson. Big breakout today, a quiet inside day. We're looking for a third day play there. JKS just goes, I already showed you the call I made in it today. Ended up closing about where it opened, still holding on to the 20 day. Um, this one does go back on the bounce playlist. What I'd like to see would be an afternoon high of day break out of a range. And then FSLY goes back on bounce watch. Um, in after hours, I believe they had earnings. So it's trading at 71.80 as I'm talking right now, um, which isn't really, it's about we're pretty close to where it closed, but um, now that earning is behind him, earnings are behind him, and it's got this big push down. It, uh, it's got a better chance at bouncing tomorrow, in my opinion. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. I'll quit babbling. We'll see you guys in the chat room in the morning.